Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today we are going to do like dupe the vibe kind of thing. My skin have like a little bit of an eczema flare up right now so excuse the dryness and also I don't have any skincare on because today we are going to dupe the Glossier Vibe. Now if you don't know Glossier, it's kind of their whole aesthetic is like minimal makeup it's just like very minimal makeup their whole mission is for it to be like skincare first before makeup i believe that's what they were saying yeah it's a, like, a really good concept i personally wanted to buy some stuff from them but right now with all these things happening and also the amount of cosmetics that i do have personally i cannot justify buying a new item so we are gonna do all of those like the glossier look and also this is gonna be a good kind of like everyday natural looking um makeup so if you're interested how i'm gonna do that please keep on watching first and foremost i already have my face washed so it's quite tight right now um the first thing that you want to do is to rehydrate the skin so toner is really ex essential because not only does it exfoliate your skin physically but it also helps open up your skin kind of soften this layer of the skin so that way when you put your serums and moisturizer it will penetrate deeper recently i've been using the origins um dr wiles mega mushroom relief and resilience soothing treatment lotion now this is really good if you have acne prone skin because it does calm the skin like i said i have a flare up and i trust this one after the toner you can put your serums in um because the glossier girl have that radiant skin i want to emulate that kind of like glow from within with a serum now this is my favorite serum i've talked about it for so many times but this is the shiseido glow revival serum you'll see right away that it's giving me like a glow but not obsessively glow and over time this will give back your radiance and the rosiness of your skin so the next product that i'm going to use for moisturizer is going to be a very lightweight moisturizer this is the dior hydra life um, water serum and i like it with underneath makeup i just use a little bit of it now if you have rosacea or sensitivity to perfume we all know that dior is like heavily scented um i don't mind scented fragrances and i've never been bothered by it and i don't think it's the one that's breaking me out because i've been using it good or bad skin days but this mo um essence moisturizer is really good for oily skin because it will just give you enough moisture eye cream i want to use this clarence um super restorative total eye concentrate this is amazing guys this is the only eye cream that i can see really a difference on my under eye fine line wise at this point you want to put your sunscreen in i'm gonna pretend i put sunscreen in, sunscreen in right now i can't because of my uh, eczema flare-up uh, because i already used a moisturizer that have a lot of perfume in it it's gonna like uh, what do you call it it's gonna make it even worse i'm just not gonna apply sunscreen because sometimes sunscreen does irritate my skin that's one thing i haven't found a sunscreen that i absolutely love the only thing that i can use is the shiseido one but then if i use it on a general like every day i would get congested skin now now that we have the skin like i said a glossier girl have that radiant glow from within skin and how i like to mimic that healthy glow because i don't have it on a daily basis i like to use the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter now this is in the shade number 510 it's a little bit too dark for me but i actually like it because it gives me um color to the skin so i like to put it where you normally can see radiance on the skin which is you want it generally in the center of the face and then right here on the brow bone right here creating like a v check and i'm going to use this morphe 335 synthetic brush just to buff it into my skin 
brought you guys in a little bit closer so you can see all my blemish um, but as you can see I already have like a good radiance on my skin now for my foundation because I cannot find like a good natural shade because the glossy girl have that natural radiant flawless skin I want to have something sheer and one product that I love about uh, that I like to use when I want a sheer kind of like just beautiful coverage is going to be the Dior Air Flash. Now the Dior Air Flash foundation is a little bit more on the expensive side. This side, this is $62 and if you use this every single day, um, it will only last you for about a month or two. Now this is in the shade 311 which is anything that ends in 01 or 11 is either olive undertone or yellow undertone. So this is actually one of my perfect shades for Dior. I used to use the shade 301 which was a little bit too light for me and 400, 401 is too dark. How to use the Dior Air Flash is first you have to shake it really really well. You will feel it get thicker like the bottle is a little bit more irradiated and a little bit more heavier. So with a flat synthetic brush like this one, this is the Sigma F80 brush, you want to spray it. You're just going to spray it three times all only and then you're going to stipple it into the skin. The reason why I like spraying it gently is because some people would blow the brush up but because this is an aerosol can, it dries up the foundation quite fast so when you're blending it, it's harder, it's trickier. Um, it's just harder to blend and I just stipple it on areas this is a little bit too light still but you'll see it kind of like it oxidizes on me quite badly but it gives me a good coverage on my skin in between um, using the air flash you want to shake it really well again and then spray your brush it's really one of the most easiest products if you learn how to use it and you'll see how good it looks on my skin. As you can see, it's getting darker, the center of my forehead. The beautiful thing about this is you can build it up up to full coverage. It doesn't have sunscreen so it does look amazing in photos. I like to use this on brides. So I can still see a little bit of spots here. And I'll show you how you can cover that up. I'm just going to pounce it into the skin and it will cover it up, up to medium. I want to say you can build this up to full coverage but then it would look weird because everything's sheer. I'm happy with the coverage because again, we're duping the Glossier um, vibe here. Now if you look at the Glossier girls, they don't have a lot of contouring. So to give myself a little bit more of a shading, I like to use this Fenty Beauty Match Stick. This is in the shade um, Mocha. Using the same Sigma that I use on my for the highlighter. I'm loading it up really, really well with product. And I'm just going to stamp that right here. And because I have my discoloration here, I don't want to disrupt the coverage so I'm just like pressing. One of my most favorite concealer for that natural radiant look is the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now I have two shades here. I have Biscuit and Ginger. Biscuit is a little bit more um, peachy undertone whereas Ginger is my highlighting color so it's like a shade lighter than I am. So I'm going to start with ginger actually. Same thing like ginger uh, biscuit right here. Now if you haven't used this concealer before, you have to wait a little bit for it to kind of like cook. just gonna press it really really well I 
and this formula is not heavy at all so it looks really good on the skin and you can definitely stop here if you want to um, for me I kind of like it a, just a tiny bit more brighter so I'm going back with my um, ginger like my highlighting shade I'm just gonna pop it right here where I want a little bit more brightness to my skin then uh, with this highlighting shade as well I'm just gonna put it right here create a little dome and because we have little contouring you want to really push it that forward and lessen the shadow here don't worry it's not so much because the skin is actually quite sheer like I said this one is just giving you coverage making it look even more radiant this is my way of making my skin look so much healthier is by correcting my under eye because it's what's making it look dull not really my acne okay so now we want to set I'm gonna use this Derma Blend loose setting powder this is just like a translucent powder it doesn't have a weird flashback I think for me at least I'm using this cap on the brush which... see how it looks so heavy earlier but now it's like not so much but as you can see I'm only mattifying the center of the skin where I put coverage and then we're gonna still follow that dome I want kind of like that glowy healthy skin I like to set my high highlight points with a highlighter normally I would say hourglass because they do make the best skin looking um, powders but because it's a little bit more on the expensive side I'm gonna give you guys a different dupe for it but this is the Becca Be The Light palette I don't know if you can still get this but this is the medium to deep um, face palette what I like about it is let me open it up so this is medium to deep and as you can see this is their highlight the powders are just beautiful it's just like a good amount I don't know if it's focusing it's a good amount of sheen but it's not highlighty so that's what you want for your skin because if you look at the glossier girl skin it's just healthy radiance it's not like excessive amount of product radiant so I'm gonna use the lightest shade here which is the highlight shade I believe in the palette as you can see it's kind of like a little bit darker for me but it gives me a good color so I like to use that on that higher points of my face remember the areas that I put the highlighter in that's where I want it because of that light reflecting powder and you put it on strategic places it's really going to look like very natural and don't worry about the powderiness of the makeup right now because that will be gone soon okay so now i'm going to use this brush it's kind of like a dual fiber stifling brush that's like angled this is by mac um this has been discontinued this is actually like a gift from a friend i'm going to use a darker shade to contour my skin again because this is kind of like a face powder it's not as dark for contour which what i like for this like glossy vibe okay so now for blush for morena skin which i am morena means tan skin in the philippines but for morena skin i like to use um, mac peaches because it just looks so natural but that doesn't mean you cannot wear any other blush so like again the glossier girl have that really dewy blushed skin like they really have good skin they have a product called cloud paint which is a cream product i think that's really good if you have drier skin I have quite oily skin so i like to use powder the most 
So I'm just gonna see the difference. Kind of give you a healthy look to the skin. Most people think that when you're doing a natural makeup that it takes 15 minutes. But it's actually one of the longest. I'm working when I was a worker makeup artist. Natural makeup takes so long um, because it's like very precise. Everything's so precise. Like the way you lay powder down, the way you blend it with a blush, it takes a long time. And now that we have a really good, good base for everything you have, highlighter, your blush, your powder, it still look a little bit powdery, but it does, doesn't does look like um, very heavy or cakey. You want to lay down all of that powder. To lay down that powder, one cult product, and it is a cult product for a reason, is going to be the MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to spray that. This is amazing. There's nothing quite like it. I've tried so many setting sprays, and this is the best. It's kind of like removing the powder. So, I'm going to do that. So, a little bit further my skin looks so my skin looks so perfected but it's not heavy in person i don't see a lot of like powderiness except for the under eye because like i said i have to correct it if i don't fix that i look crazy now we're almost done here really almost done here if i'm not talking and explaining this would take me about i'm going to say 15 to 20 minutes tops now we're going to do the brows for the brows i'm going to use my trusty anastasia brow whiz um pencil and i'm just going to comb it this is the most important part is to comb it to remove any sort of product in there now if you look at the glossier girl's brow it's bushy it's fluffy, it's feathery, it looks like she just came out from her mom's hoo-ha and she already had that beautiful bushy brow. So we're just going to mimic that. But to do that, you want to create feathery strokes. And I'll show you how... It's hard to explain how I'm doing the movements on my brows, but it's basically just filling it in with little checks. I'm not being precise with it, and then I'm gonna just blend it, kind of like to give it like a shadow, like a background shadow. And then whenever I see that little sparse area, I could just go there with a little flick. And then again blend it here's the part where I always struggle is to make this stand up there after this you can just put mascara on but like I said I do have pigmented lids so what my favorite technique to do is to use a bronzer now this is with my um, Becca and Chrissy Teigen so dirty it's well loved it's overused but um, I'm gonna use the bronzer. So this is my favorite lazy girl technique. So what I do is I just pop on bronzer all over my lids with a fluffy crease brush. I love this brush. This is I got it from BoxyCharm, but it's the Moda Pro crease brush. So fluffy, so feathery. I'm just going to bring that close to my brow bone. Just all over my, my lids. Nothing too precise because you just want to do that. Maybe in the tutorial this would just be in the video. It would be till like 15 minutes. But in real time it's actually it's been an hour now since I started doing this. But... I'm going to take it a step forward by using the Shiseido powder. I've been loving this powder recently. And this is like a little bit, this is my highlight powder shade. And I'm going to put that just to highlight my brow bone. Because as you can see, it will lift my skin immediately. And then the same shade right here, in the inner corner. No need to use a shimmery inner corner. 
and then going back to the bronzer I don't know if I explained it in the previous clip but you need to put it underneath as well to give you kind of like I'm tired but I showed up in this zoom conference call there and then with my pinky finger I'm gonna take a little peachy highlighter blend it with my two finger to diffuse the color and I'm just gonna pop with that it gives you that look so just like that curl your lashes this is the most important part is to curl your lashes and mascara you'll be surprised how a little mascara goes a really long way a little bit of like a pro tip um, I'm gonna use this angled liner brush and a dark matte eyeshadow this is actually my brow powder but I'm gonna use that dark dark color right there I'm gonna coat my brush like that diffuse it and then I'm just gonna stamp it on my lash line this is like the faux liner um, technique where you create like a hint of line with mascara on. I've been loving this Essence Lash Princess mascara. The eyes are done, the face is done, the brows is done. Okay, so that the glossy girl lips is always just like fresh, like kind of like a stain. Sometimes they do play with the eyes and the lips, so I feel like that can be an avenue where you can put something. And for me personally, because I'm liking this little very natural look, I would show you one of my favorite products of all time. This is the Dior Lip Glow. Actually, if I want a little bit more pinky, I like the Chanel better, but this one, 13 year old daughter, well, turning 13, loves this product. It's very moisturizing, it has SPF 10 in it, and it's just a natural lip color. And for Morena specifically, the orange one, the coral one, this is the shade number 004. It is one of the best products for Morena's skin. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys again so much. You guys are beautiful inside and out, and I'll see you soon on the next video. Bye.